my song we come to take over MC you better look over your shoulder yeah you know we are in on open up hello guardians thank you for joining me on another video this um, week we'll be doing my nasty as fuck strand warlock um, absolutely brutal um, I'd like to say thank you for returning, thank you for picking up the video and having a look. Um, it will not disappoint, obviously GG's still going on. Uh, Hunters, it looks like, are taking that lead at the moment. We all know it's going to be the Titans this year, so not really holding up for, for anything else other than uh, about time that the Titans won it, I suppose. Uh, Lance Reddick again. Rest in peace and uh, be a nice win for him, even though he played a warlock. And me, if you've never seen my videos before, was a Titan main. Originally started D1 on my warlock and now I'm a hunter main. Right, let's get on with my build. Um, this is going to be my brood weaver. Absolutely fucking brutal. Um, you can see the aspects here. Um, everything I've got here is to push my threadlings, um, suspended targets, uh, getting back uh, melee energy. Um, I'm going for um, wave and mail. Um, you see the thread of binding there. It's all to do with the suspension, um, which I do get on this. Also trying to create um, tangles wherever I can. Uh, you'll see my weapon load out in a minute. I'm going to be running the Quicksilver Storm with this one, the Circular Logic. Um, two amazing weapons for this build. The reason I've done this build was I run a Suspend Warlock. run the Suspend Warlock all the time and I just fancied a bit of a change. Especially with the new season coming on, we're getting new aspects. So I thought I'd put this build up there. Kind of gets forgotten about a little bit. Um, I really enjoy the build. Um, I just love the Warlock. Even though I'm a hunter main, I can just jump on this this build, this brood weaver here, um, and I can absolutely annihilate everything that um, I come across. So take your time to look at this build and start setting yourself up with it. It will not disappoint. You will be knocking the shit out of ads, you'll be knocking the shit out of GMs, and you'll be crushing the fuck out of just about any content that you come across. The other thing with this build is the exotics I'm running. Um, we're going to go more into that, but it's all about the boots. I've got my mod customization screen up here. Uh, most of you have been through the season already, so you know what these mods are. Um, it's just a quick snap look at everything that I'm using. Obviously, you can switch a couple in and a couple out. Um, mainly using my kinetic and my strand mods. Sometimes I run a void strand combo because um, I use a void scout in the middle. Uh, my aspects are set up to use void and um, strand together. It's a really nasty combo, especially when you're clearing ads, especially with this build. You'll find out if you give it a try and make sure you do. As you can see here again on the Ascendant Scepter, artifact screen it's a little bit easier to see um, on about tangles um, on about strand <laughs> about running anything that crushes a champion as well swarmers uh, big 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 part of this build um, use these and use these only otherwise I've been like a minor necrotic build these are absolutely amazing um, every time you destroy a tangle, obviously you're going to get your threadlings. Um, I buff my threadlings up so they do more damage and travel further distance. And this build drops tangles for days. Quicksilver Storm doesn't really need an introduction. I think most have used it now. Nasty in PvP. Real nasty in PvE with this build. It is absolutely brutal. Circular Logic. I'm always running a commemoration and I got fed up of running my commemoration because it gets kind of boring. So I thought I'd switch up with the circular logic. This isn't my best um, roll, but it is absolutely free. So you'll see it here. Really, it's absolutely savage. Give it a go. Really, really take note of what you're seeing here. Um, I'm now clearing like crazy and it's easy as fuck as well. That's the other thing with this build. You can just get like, like, a content, grind. You can 
join up with your fellow guardians and knock out harder stuff. It's fun. Another thing with running with birds is on top of threadlings popping out just about everywhere, obviously consuming threadling grenade, um, then dropping your your rift out, you're going to be spawning a shit ton of threadlings into a group of ads. Um, on top of that, you've got the nano rockets with the silver storm, you've also got the nano rockets with the um, heavy machine gun, it absolutely brutalizes things, plus on top of that you've got your melee, which is um, three pops at best, and uh, it does some more damage. So on top of throwing your your, um, your strand just about everywhere, um, considering this we could try shit out, please try it. This build, I tried it on um, sort of staggered content, um, starting at sort of lower end and moving up slightly higher. Obviously, GG's is on something doing the uh, Darling Dark Nightfall. Um, this build is sort of You can see in a second when you go up to the torment and then my damage actually does. Um, team support, second to none. Like I said, the uh, strand of the angles. Um, absolutely, yes, the fireweight display. Um, handle champion, because I handle just about anything, bosses, the bees. Like I said, it's a fun build as well. It's a build that can be taken very seriously, or you can just get one of those chill with them just for the night. And then you have a coffee, <laughs> or a beer, whatever you want to do. Thank you, Guardian. Right now you're going to see a little bit of potential with everything being used at once. You're going to see the Quicksilver taking the knees down at the same time. And you see the Tangle is the way it's set up with aspects and my artifact. The Tangle is an absolute insane Oh, they have a Tormentor, do they? Broken Spades, Tangles, Boom.
Okay Guardians, thank you very much for watching my video, um, please like, please subscribe, obviously I'm just a little bit rough around the edges on commentary, but with a bit of confidence I'll be picking it up, especially for the next season coming out. Again, thank you very much for watching, hope you all enjoy the Guardians games, and you're all getting nicely prepped for the next season. On top of that, make sure you collect bounties, build them up, and um, also make sure you are farming everything that you can. Next season is just around the corner.